13 inches of space between your needle and arm and over 5 inches high. So you have a lot of space and notice that you have a beautiful new matte finish that's showcasing the machine without any flashback or any glare. Well I need to get the machine set up to actually use. So I'm going to start by opening our wonderful new thread stand. Notice how it all just stays together, pops out really nice and easily, and I'm going to twist, twist, I'm going to raise, built-in spool pins, no screws. You'll notice my lid is still on the machine, and ta-da, it is magnetically snapped, and it is going to hold. It takes two hands to remove it, so it's a strong magnetic hold, and we need to thread our machine. So I'm going to thread by starting with my thread stand and we're going to use our little bobbin clip. It's very important when you use your thread stand and from here the threading is very standard. So I'm going to give me a last little hook in here, get my threader and we're going to go ahead and get our machine threaded with Brothers Phenomenal Automatic Needle Threader. Now, I might need to change my foot or change my accessories. You have this wonderful new brother accessory box and I'm holding it backwards so <laughs> this is a little awkward but there we go and you'll notice you have all your wonderful trays that have their own storage space in the lid you notice the lid did not come off this is one of our newly designed trays there is a space for your move it foot standard accessory there is a space for your buttonhole and sensor plate standard accessory as well as the standard accessory of your straight stitch plate everything has its own space it's absolutely phenomenal i love this little tray and it keeps it everything nice and neat and in place well speaking of straight stitch plates if i wanted to change my needle plate you'll notice something new about the needle plate there are no screw holes and at the bed of the machine you'll notice that there is a new release lever that allows me to simply pop off my old plate and put on the plate i want and no screwdriver so i'm going to just line it back up pop it into place and you'll notice that all my screen and settings are all set automatically depending upon the plate i have on well i want to start out by going to some of the great features that are in our sewing menu i'm going to tap on my sewing with our brand new brother sensor pen stylus your brand new pen and sensor uh, stylus activate your new screen this is a different screen than what we are accustomed to and you'll notice i have a rubber tip now that is going to be a capacitive stylus to be able to open and select my stitches now i'm going to go to sewing and i'm going to tell it okay and it's going to move my embroidery arm out of the way for me automatically and i'm in my utility stitches as normal now you'll notice the screen looks a little different it's got some really cool new features it's a scroll feature to access my different categories. So if I wanted category three, or if I wanted the new basting stitch categories, and I want you to listen when you, I tap on this, and did you hear the feed dots lower automatically? This is now a free motion basting. So if you're working with a fat bat or a, a puffy foam or something that's really dense, you don't want five millimeter basting stitches. Those are too tight. This is a free motion basting, which means that I determine how long the basting stitches are simply by letting it take its stitch. It's going to raise the foot, put it in the proper height, and I will move the fabric to access it. It's just really, really handy, and it's a great feet function. I'm going to go back to my decorative stitches in my decorative stitch category. You'll notice I hear a little beep. I'm using the rubber tip end of my stylus, and I want to get ready to sew a stitch. Well, when I get ready to sew this stitch, and I am going to cut, I don't have to, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any fabric right there, I only have two fabric. Okay. That's okay. Go back live in five, four, this is a gap install moment, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to put fabric here so I have fabric. All right, and we're coming back. And so I have my stitch, it's selected here on the screen just as normal. But one of the most fantastic new features that is built in on this machine is that I now have the capabilities of turning on my projection. You'll notice the lights dim down. It tells me to please wait. And I'm going to do another stop because I don't know for camera, is this better for white or black? Is that better? Let's go here and turn it so you can see what I'm talking about because sometimes the background color is going to make a difference on film. And we're going to go to page six. I'm going to turn this to black. 
and then okay, okay, and now when I come back, turn the projection on, which one is better? That one's better. That one's better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we'll, okay, so. You can change it to any color? Uh, black, gray, or white. That's good to know. Yes, and so it's the opposite of what you might think. You would think that you would turn white on for white fabrics and black on for darker fabrics. However, it does change the projection color. It's still on and the white light is still there, but you have the opposite effect. So your colors will show up better on a light fabric if you tell it to be in a darker screen for the projection background. Well, I have two ways of adjusting stitches now. So the prior way, and with almost every other machine, you choose the stitch and you simply tap on the width or the length and you can adjust your stitch. And it's great and that's nice that you can have adjustments, but I don't know about you. For me, I have no idea what a 5.5 width and a four millimeter length stitch is gonna actually look like on fabric. I can kind of see it on the screen, but what does it really look like? Your projection is now taking the actual stitch that's selected, and as you make changes to it, it will show you on the fabric the changes that are happening. So then it makes a little bit more relative sense from the project I'm working on to the stitch and the adjustments I have made. Now the cool part about all of this is with my new sensor pin, I'm able to come in and I can simply tap. And when I tap and you want to listen for your beep, I'm actually changing the length and the width right here on the fabric. I don't have to go to the screen to do this. I can do this here and when I do it here, I'm going to get a preview of the stitch as it will sew out. So I actually can see what the stitch is gonna look like before I ever even stitch it out. And I think that's the coolest, most handy feature. And a time saver, you don't have to sew a sample to see what it looks like. You're gonna have it right there, true size and true to life. Well, I might not want that stitch any longer. I'm like, okay, a stitch this beautiful. I would like to see some other stitches. I no longer have to go to my screen to do that. I can simply come over to my sewing, stitch preview screen and it's going to show me the previous stitch the current stitch and the next stitch and I can simply scroll through the stitches and you'll just make sure you're going to hear your beep and that's how you know it's going to progress to the next stitch and you're going to hear it again it's going to progress to the next stitch so once you have a stitch and I'm going to just keep scrolling over until I get to one of my favorite stitches which is the honeycomb stitch we have several honeycombs, a single, a double, and a triple. And the triple happens to be my favorite, so I'm gonna choose that stitch. I need to set it so I can make any kind of adjustments to it. Well, I know I want this stitch to be seven millimeters wide. I want it as wide as it can go. So I'm not even gonna look at the screen. I'm simply gonna plus until I hear the click click. When you hear the click click, it's the machine is letting you know I've reached the maximum, I've reached the minimum, or you, I've reached the best point for this to go. Now I need that longer also, so I'm gonna then come over and you'll notice I'm simply hovering my stylus. You do not have to touch the fabric with it. And again, I've reached the max on that. So now my stitch is simply ready to sew. Everything shows up right on the screen, on, the, on your fabric in a preview screen. Well, I have sewn this stitch out and I want to place the next stitch next to that. So I'm gonna grab my piece. And so you can see how I have some beautiful stitches of Look at how pretty I had it upside down. This machine sells wonderful. It's so pretty you don't even know which way it's going. Do you notice how big some of those stitches are? These are some of the brand new maxi stitches in here that are going to give you larger than seven millimeters, some that can go up to 60 millimeters wide. And that is in sewing, not embroidery, but it gives you absolutely beautiful drop dead gorgeous stitches. Well, now I can see that I will want that stitch to butt right up to my sewing stitch here, I can see that I am lined up correctly. But I have an even better way of making sure that I'm precise. When I come over, and it's gonna take a second because it's gonna talk to your projector, turn your projector into the off mode, I wanna turn on my LED guidelines. So that's what this little icon does. And it looks like the little laser that we're all familiar with. 
tells me that it's waiting because it's talked to it. It turned the projector off, but now I'm going to turn on my marking lines. And when I turn on my marking lines, I now have a spacing line. Now this is set for the previous row I just finished. I want to put my new row of stitching in. So I'm going to make that line spacing a little bit less. So when I tap and hold on my screen, it's going to start to adjust the lines on the fabric and change the spacing. This is a wonderful tool for anyone that wants perfect, precise, and exact sewing. And so now it's lined up exactly. I have my spacing. But I'm going to want to come down and just like up here at the top where we stitch, where it stops right at the stitching, I need to be able to see that. So I'm going to turn on my new angle stitching so that now in my angle this is how we were able to line this up to make it come into perfect so if you're a quilter and you are a Heil star you're doing a Lemoyne star you always have a 60 degree angle in any of those stars well I need a quarter inch seam allowance which my green line is my sewing line the red line is the edge of the fabric and your piece would be, your fabric piece will be cut in that star shape, the point shape. This is going to mean that every time I pivot and turn a corner, my needle is going to stop right in that corner. I'm going to stop it and it'll stop and the needle down, foot will raise. I will pivot then and it means every seam allowance is going to be a perfect quarter inch. I don't have to mark every single star, every single dot. I don't have to physically do that any longer because the guidelines will stay on while you're sewing. But I said, oh, I wanted to do something a little more elaborate and we're going to turn and we're going to say that we were sewing and I need to be able to see my oh and we're in red so see how the red doesn't show well on this with the colors i can change the color of this and i can change the spacing so that i now have a half an inch grid line that i can now see that i can line up exactly so that as i'm sewing and this is really helpful if you do home decorating and you're going to be doing borders if you're a quilter this is wonderful for being able to line things up in your sashings and then if you make garments this is great to add tailored and decorative detail to cuffs sleeves to your anywhere that you want to have a perfectly shaped border this is going to allow you to put line and row after row after row and here we have it that it's going to line up perfectly so if this were my cuff look at how beautiful that would be fold it down for you guys so you get a nice view but what a gorgeous cuff this would be but it's perfect. My stitching is absolutely perfect, perfectly spaced and perfectly lined up because of having the grid. You'll notice that it stays on on the machine. It will stay on while you're sewing unless you turn it off so that you can end up with those kind of perfect stitches. So these are just some of the new wonderful cool things that are available in your sewing. I'm going to actually turn this off and I'm going to go to my close it and I'm going to go over to some of the fabulous new stitches. If those of you that love Disney, you're going to be so excited because we now have Disney stitches in sewing. We've had Disney all along in our embroidery mode, but we've never been able to sew Disney stitches. And one of the most fun things to sew out with some of the great decorative stitches is our great Mickey, the princess pumps I call them because it has all of your princesses, little stars and her shoes and then of course the princess and prince crown. So we have all of these built in new deck Disney stitches that are in our sewing mode. Of course setting us apart from anyone is our wonderful uh, capabilities that we can create stitches and edit the built-in stitches. Disney has certain allowances however if we are in one of our beautiful new stitch patterns and you'll notice I'm switching between my finger and the stylus the screen is still works with your finger you don't have to use the stylus but we have now have some very fun stitches. I love the cupcakes I love the happy birthday so we got the birthday cakes we also have the in your holidays the ornamental the little uh, stocking as well as your gifts and candy canes there's angels in here there's stars in here there's christmas trees there's stuff for boys in here or, or you know if you know maybe you have a little girl that loves choo-choo's 
We got a great train in here. These stitch out beautiful. These are wider than your normal decorative stitches. Right now, this is 15 millimeters. So this is gonna be a really wide width versus a normal decorative stitch. They're, the hedgehog is so cute. So you have all these great new stitch patterns that have been added to the machine. Tons of easy access functions and features that make your sewing that much more enjoyable. Well, I am going to switch gears because I'm done with my sewing and I want to do some embroidery. So I'm going to go into my home screen and it's going to then allow me, and I'm not tapping on home, you do want to make sure you're tapping on the house, not in the corner and tell it okay and I'm going to now go into embroidery it's going to move my embroidery arm just like before as well as adjust my presser foot the new features in your embroidery mode are one we have over 11,000 embroidery designs built in on your machine now and they are drop dead gorgeous so these are my designs to get to the different categories now is simply a swipe so you can swipe and see all the different categories. I'm going to go down and I want to choose this absolutely to die for a beautiful butterfly. And I have a sample of the butterfly right somewhere behind me. I'll grab it when we get ready to go. Well, I can't really see all of the designs at once here. And I'm like, I want to see all the designs in that category. I'm going to expand and I now have an expansion window to show me all the designs and I can see all of them grouped together or I can simply pinch to make them larger so I can get to full detail. Well, one of the designs that I think is really gorgeous is this antlers on this deer and so I'm going to choose it. If you hear it beep and see set, it's chosen but you can't see the design. You're like, well where's the design? We can collapse that window and when you collapse it, and that's the blue arrow right here, it will then give you your preview screen. Now, I want to see the colors, I want to see the size. On my previous models of my brother's machines, I had all my information. Well, you still have it here. You're going to simply tap your eye. And now when you tap the eye for information, you have the list of the colors. You have the size of your design. You have how long it'll take to stitch out. You still have all of that information. You even can see what it'll look like stitched on dark fabric. It's simply gorgeous. Well, I'm going to go back and tell it to set. Now I have the design on the screen, and I said, oh my goodness, I want to see where the design is going to sew. I'm going to grab one of our new one of our new hoops, which you get with this machine. Thank you so much. And that is the new gigantic 10 and a half by 16 inch hoop. It is huge. You can hula hoop in this thing. It's massive. Well, I'm going to attach the hoop. They all attach the same way. The newest... Uh, benefit on the hoops to make things easier for you when you're hooping is we have the new clamp re release so instead of having to tighten and loosen the screw you just pop the spring it'll pop out your new hoop you'll get your fabric lined up in the hoop and you simply lock and tighten again with the clamp I'm gonna put it in place lock down my arm and I'm ready to go well I want this um, embroidery design to be in a particular place. And so I need a piece of the design to stitch out a certain place. We've had for a number of years now our positioning stickers, which is allowed for automatic stitch placement, utilizing what uh, is commonly known as the snowman sticker. So if I put the snowman sticker right here, I know that the center of the design is going to go here and my design will stitch accordingly. Well, that's not so crucial and not so important to me. I don't want the center of the design. I need to know where that little bird is going to sew so that I can move the design if I have to. So I'm going to remove the sticker, get him out of the way, and we're simply going to turn on just like before in our sewing mode where we had a preview of our stitches. We can go to embroidery and we're going to go to projection and you're going to see how cool this is. Right now, I have a projection of where that part of this design is going to sew. My focus is the bird, so I'm going to make sure to move my little projection window so that I can see where that bird is going to sew in position. Well, I want that bird to actually be a little higher up because I want the antler to come right under the collar. 
So I can simply move my design so that I know that the bird is going to be in the correct position. So you can simply use your movement arrows and we can tap and hold. And I'm gonna move my projection view so I know that that little bird is exactly where I want it to be. The rest of the design is gonna fit and be perfect, but my concern is where is that bird gonna stitch? This for me is the most amazing thing to be able to preview exactly where something's gonna sell. Now you say, well, what about the bottom of the deer? Is it going to hit in a precarious position? Well, let's just drag our projection box down so that we can see that that is not going to hit my pocket. It is going to be perfectly placed and perfectly positioned. I love being able to see on the screen where something's going to sell. Let's see and look and get a beautiful light of his eyes and get a great picture. Now. I'm going to tap OK because I want to be back in my regular screen. We have the wonderful progress bar that we've had on our new on our multi needle machines, so that if you wanted to go to a particular place in a color, you simply t uh, we want to be in our sewing screen. It'll let you advance to that color simply by tapping on the color. Well, right now this design is a little smaller than I wanted, and I'm like, oh well, I need this design to be a little bit larger. So I can now pinch to drag, and this is changing the stitch embroidery size. So I'm gonna center it, I'll go edit and let the machine do all the work for me. And I'm gonna tell it size. And this is now place this design. I'm gonna change my zoom, turn off my pan. And when I'm there, if I zoom this out, this has now changed the stitches. You notice it automatically opened the movement window for me. I'm sorry, your size window. It's auto and it has changed the stitches and made the embroidery design bigger simply by a pinch and drag. So the way to make your designs bigger and smaller now is simply pinch and drag. I do have fine tune so that if I say, oh gosh, that's too big, or I need to be a little more precise and accurate than just dragging, I can simply tell it that, oh, I want you to go back to the original, and I still have, which we're very familiar with our brother machines, are the more accurate precision movement and sizing options that are built in on the screen. So now I said, oh, that's wonderful. I'm going to tell it I want to see this, and I'm going to go in and we'll do a scan so that we can make sure that our design is going to fit exactly where it needs to go. I want you to notice how smooth and quiet this machine is. It does things perfectly silent. Now I'm intentionally being quiet, or I was, because I want you to hear just how quiet the machine is. It's amazing. It's such smooth movement. It's like a robot. It's accurate, it's precise and it's quiet. It is wonderful. It's just wonderful. And when it starts to sell, that's when you're just tremendously surprised. Now, so that for those of you at home that are watching this, you'll notice that the foot is all the way over to the right next to the hoop. Leave that there. Your machine knows what it's doing. You do not have to worry about the position of that. We might have to worry about the position of those signs, but we do <laughs> not have to worry about the position of the camera or the hoop. The machine knows where it's going. Now, you're like, oh, well, that wasn't so fast. That wasn't so great. This is showing us on fine position. So if I am in my settings, because this is what I probably would have said in the beginning, and I'm going to scroll over and go to my scan quality and I'm going to tell it standard because very seldom do you need that and if we tell it scan again I want you to see the difference and it does take a second because notice the difference so according to what you have set in your settings your options to be able to scan are going to change depending on whether you need fine detail to be able to be picked up by the scanner or if you just need the background so you can do perfect placement and position.
So there we have it, and you'll notice it picked up some of the colors. Those are the lights that are reflecting back. We're in this wonderful um, convention center that has lights pop back, so that's what we have. I can now close this, and I can see where my design is going to appear on my fabric. So now I can then even move this, and we're going to select, oh, we're in our edit screen. Now it's selected, so I'm going to drag this there, and I think I'm pretty good, but who knows? I don't want it to stitch to my collar. I want it to be right to the collar, though. I'm going to zoom. I can go all the way up to 200%, and now I'm going to adjust my view so that I can see that that's going to go there. Well, this is projected here, and that's great, but the relationship between this and this don't necessarily always make sense. So we're going to go ahead and go into our embroidery screen, turn back on our projection, and now we'll check where the little bird is at and make sure the little birdie is in the right position. And more importantly, that green leaf. I wanted to make sure that green leaf was exactly under my collar and it's positioned perfect right there. We're ready now to get ready to sew because I'm sure you want to hear it sew. I want you to hear how quiet it is. I'm going to advance through to some colors since I have my machine threaded in blue. I'm going to scroll down to my first blue just so you can hear how quiet this is. And then we have sky blue. I'm going to tell it to please start, but I want you to get a really true sense and a true feel of how quiet this machine works. This machine can go over a thousand stitches per minute, but it's so, so beautiful and so quiet. But I wanted you to hear that little bit of, of stitching so you can see just how quiet it is. Well, I've said this is all great, this is wonderful. I'm gonna move my little Anna, my little uh, deer, and I'm gonna tell it to come back to my center hoop. Because say, for example, I wanted to put this on a quilt. One of the new wonderful features of your machine, we need to be in our edit screen, is the capability to not only do your auto stippling, I can also now do auto echoing. So echo is selected up at the top with the flower, uh, the flower and I can tell it to echo quilt around my design with one touch. I can even tell it how far away it should start, and I can tell it how far away each of those lines should be. So for my quilters, this is a fantastic, wonderful, easy way of going between stippling and going between echo, going and choosing which one you'd like to have. So you can even change your stipple here to a meander all with one touch. It's so much fun and it's so easy and it's so great. But one last thing I'd like to share with you guys really quick. I'm gonna go back to the home screen and open up our My Design Center because My Design Center is where you are the artist. Now, you're gonna say, oh, I can't draw. I'm not so great with that. Well, you have built-in shapes in the machine and you can also attach our scan board and allow it to scan and create your stitches from there. I'm gonna go and open up and choose one of the stitches that are built in. Now, this is actually an illustration. These are not stitches just yet. It's really just an illustration, and we're gonna fill that in with one of the 30 new patterns that are built in on your Illuminaire. I'm gonna go and choose my select, and I'm gonna say, oh, look at how beautiful all of these wonderful patterns are. They are absolutely stunning, and I'm gonna choose the honeycomb. And I'm going to tell it, okay, we'll leave it at red as a great color. I'm going to tell it to please fill my heart in with that great honeycomb. Well, I think I might want to add an outline stitch to this. So I'm going to go and choose the different stitches in my outlines. So we've had our standards before. We now have a blanket and an overbound. I'm going to go and choose, though, some of the wonderful decorative stitches that are built in. I happen to like this little circle one, and I'm gonna tell it that color to maybe be green, just so I can have a contrast. And I'm gonna select my pour, so that it pours it right on there, and we're gonna see what it looks like by selecting next. Notice in your next preview screen, it automatically generates your stitches. Well, I can tell that it's too big for that heart, so we're gonna change that and go down to about 70%. I'm gonna then let it generate, and after I rescale it, I'm gonna go and use one of the other new functions that's called random shift. When you use random shift, it's gonna create this wonderful wave and transformation to create how that is. Well, I like that area and that transformation, but I want it in the center, so I'm simply gonna use my new offset capabilities, and I'm gonna minus that all the way over, because it needs to be pretty far over. 
so that it sets that right where I want it to go. And I'm gonna tell it okay, and it's gonna reposition my design and notice it dragged it over into that area. Well, right now, I wanna adjust the line. You'll notice that little stitch, and I'll zoom so you guys can see it. And uh, maybe, oh, I gotta tell it okay, and then set that. And we are going to pin 200%. So that's that decorative stitch outline, right? Well, I wanna be on that stitch pattern, and I can change the size of each one, I can change the distance between each one, but I also can flip this so that those are going to the outside of this. So now, my new stitch pattern is going to look like that. So many new, cool, wonderful features built into my design center will return and go back, and I'm going to then select this one. Now, when I choose select, I'm like, oh my, I need to draw around this one to select. I don't want it to be a box select because I don't want it to choose the background. So one of the new features that I have available to me is to be able to draw my selection tool right around my design. And we'll go in and let's go and choose one of our other shapes. So I'm gonna go down and in my banners, I have another heart that I like. So we're gonna choose that heart. Now notice it drew that heart right on top of the other one. I can simply drag this one and I'm going to pop it on the side and then I'm going to go and I want to rotate that one and I'm going to position him so that he's over just like so and I'm going to change my view and go down to about 400 percent notice how large it is you can't see it anymore but you do have the capabilities to pan in between so 400 let's try 200 so we can get a little bit better view in there now I need to change this one, so we're going to go and choose a different fill pattern that we have available to us, the beautiful new ones, and we'll tap OK, and we're going to change this one to maybe more of a blue, tap OK, and we're going to tap, oh, now notice I just got one little dot there, what did I do wrong? Because I told the machine that I wanted to draw. That's not a bad thing because I'm going to go back to 100% and I'm going to draw inside of my heart of stitch pattern and notice that my pattern, I'm going to change my view so that I can move this over and get a, oh, I'm still drawing. <laughs> oh darn, I messed up. Well, what can I do now? I'm going to have to start all over. You now have 50 undos and redos built in on your My Design Center. So if you have a little booboo or a oops, you can simply undo it. You also have 25 undo and redos in embroidery now. Mm -hmm. So if you want to undo the last step, the last rotation, the last edit in your embroidery mode, you have up to 25 undo and redos that are available to you. I'm going to adjust my pan and I'm going to drag my heart over and I'm going to go back and tell it to continue to allow me to draw and notice as I'm drawing it's drawing the fill pattern but if I connect two pieces together it recreates the design for me I do not have to worry that oh I started there and it's going to pick up the design it will allow me to create this lush beautiful design where I want it to go simply by what I drew in. And I'm going to draw around my heart and come down and I'm going to fill them in. So you don't have to just use auto. You can do so many cool things with this. This is in particularly helpful if you've scanned in a graphic or scanned in an image and you only want part of that image. It's wonderful to be able to fill it in with a fill pattern simply by drawing it in. I'm going to click next on that just so you guys can see what I've just created based upon this. I'm going to, oh look. I'm outside the embroidery area and it cannot be converted. Oh darn. Well, again, we have our fabulous selection tool that's going to allow me to come in. We'll zoom to see this better. And now I'm going to then be able to select this one. I'm going to pan over so I can see. And I'm going to select only this heart. And I'm going to turn back to my selection. And, here, 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 here. and as I go around, it's going to just select only that heart. And we're going to, oh, it added my stitch point because I'm on my screen, which is okay. 
and I'm going to let it keep going and around and I need to close that so I can get over to where I can see but now I can get in between the two hearts with precision and accuracy and make sure I'm not cutting away that piece and we'll drag back over Oops, drag. <laughs> drag back over and make sure that your beginning connects with your end and you guys are going to cut out that part and edit it because this is not doing what I wanted to do. So we're going to say, but in the end, I'll be able to get a beautiful pattern and a beautiful design. It's now selected that part. I'm going to link those together and I'm going to be able to move that eventually when the update comes out. So you all didn't hear that. And we're going to come out of here and I'm going to come back and we're going to jump into a different portion so that we can have something that links together really well. And we're going to link that together with choosing a different shape. And we're going to choose to add this wonderful flower. And I now have my flower pattern that is around my heart. And I'm going to just un un grab my clear, go away, pull my heart back up so I can have that up there so it looks at least like something that you can, what did she say? So that you can look, it looks, at least it looks like something that we just did. The color was red, we'll go back and choose our red. I'll go back and get that honeycomb pattern so that it again looks like something that we have selected. And that's good, this is good. We're gonna fill in our, undo, fill in our heart, fill it in, and I'm going back and get a lovely little flower to go on the out, that one's simpler. Go on the outside, I'm gonna change. So, I've had my, I'm back to my original heart. And I want to change my size on this, so I'm going to increase the size. This is just like it does in embroidery. The difference here is you have more precision because, again, this is a graphic. This is not an embroidery stitch file yet. And I'm going to move this up so that the bottom is touching, and then I'm very close on the side. And now I'm going to choose a different fill pattern, and I'm going to choose what we have dubbed as the doll dress. This looks like a little doll dress, we thought, and so we like that one. So I'm going to fill that in with my green and tell it OK, and I'm going to make sure that my bucket is selected to fill it in. And now I have these two beautiful stitch combinations together. Now that I'm ready to embroider this, look how gorgeous it is, it's beautiful. Now that I'm ready to embroider this, I'm going to simply tell it OK, and it's going to position this, and it's going to treat this as if it were one embroidery design. Let's add another little design in here to show you guys one more little cool trick. And we're going to go and choose from our stitch pattern. And I want this pattern to add to it. And I'm going to set that one in there. And I need this to go right on the pocket, but I want both of these to line up evenly. You now have what we call justification. We're going to select all. And when we come back to our selection, you have a new icon and it is your justify and I can now write justify my designs to be able to line up so that I know that that's going to stitch in the pocket the red is coming to the edge and my designs have automatically lined up to go into the embroidery screen I hope you guys enjoyed playing with this machine as much as I have all of the cool new and wonderful features your new built-in Wi-Fi on the machine that's going to allow you to forward and send designs back through your P design 11 please make sure to come in and ask about all of the new upgrades, all of the new updates, and all of the new exciting features, as well as the new big, beautiful home. My name's Louis Carney. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Louis.